hi guys welcome back to the channel so right now it is actually september 11th when i'm filming this and this week's video that's going up on wednesday was actually supposed to be um a week in my life of last week and then i honestly just got like caught up in the week that i never picked up my camera after like thursday or something like that i can't remember but i just stopped picking up my camera and i was like well this isn't gonna be a good video i didn't end it out it wasn't a true week in my life so i just basically scrapped that now we're filming a day in my life because today is my longest day of the week i have class 9 to 11 30 12 to 12 50 1 to 1 50 2 to 2 50 and then i have orientation for this like mentoring program that i'm doing on campus so that is all today and then also i have tutoring tonight from 5 to 6 30 because tomorrow is my first test and my first calculus test and i'm when i tell you, i'm so nervous so nervous like i'm not good at math i will say that i have become more confident in the past couple weeks my math skills but overall I'm not great at it. That's like my least favorite subject. I'm not confident in the subject overall, but I'm getting more confident in the material and my ability to understand what is being said in the material. So yeah, tomorrow's the first test. I'm freaking out low key, but we're gonna keep it calm. We're gonna keep it cool, collected. This is the earliest that I have to get up, like not ever, but for class or anything. Cause all of the other days, my classes start at 12. This one is just the day that my class starts at nine. Um, that is very much like my own fault because I could have gotten I couldn't have gotten this class at a later time But I could have been in a different section, but it is what it is just the lighting a little bit because it was looking a little harsh Anywho, but I'm gonna do some really quick makeup Not too much. I've been like really this look that I'm about to do I've been doing for Like my natural days where I'm just like going to class or running a couple errands or even just going to work Like this is the makeup I've been doing also, this past weekend, we played Texas. Listen, I don't... <sighs> I was shocked. Shocked, ultimately. And let me give y'all a little story time about how things... Oh, that's a car. How things went as far as, like, the game goes. Um, I had tickets, and then a whole bunch of stuff had happened. Not bad, but just some stuff had happened. So I ended up leaving uh after like right before the first quarter was over which i honestly did not mind leaving like don't get me wrong i love the school i'm very blessed to be here it took a long took a lot to be here um but i'm also one of those people that's like if you've been to one game you kind of been to them all like it's the same all rundown i guess you could say just a different team so me like missing out on these games i don't feel like fomo or anything like that it's just like okay there's always next season like there's always more games. There's always going to be album football games. So I don't feel like I'm missing out because if I ever wanted to go to a game, I could just buy a ticket and go to a game. With that being said, I'm going to preface this. I'm very, very, very thankful to be going to the University of Alabama and have the opportunity to attend these games at a discounted price or like just attend these games at all. Um, super grateful for that, but... I also am still, there's some ways in me, like my, I guess my Huntsville ways where I'm very much a homebody. Like being at home or being like in my own space and the comfort of my own home, just, it's amazing. I love it. Another thing is like being able to go to the bathroom in a timely manner and still come back and watch the game. That's another thing. Being able to like have a nice cold beverage here, like a nice cold Coke. <coughs> or have like wings delivered to my door. You can't do that at the stadium. You can do that at home, but you can't do it at the stadium. Anywho, um, I have decided that I'm going home this weekend, which I'm very excited about. Literally, I already have plans when I get home and I'm only gonna be there for one night. Like I'm, I have work this Friday from three to nine and I was gonna go this Friday until I was put on the schedule. So I have work three to nine and then I'm gonna wake up like super early Saturday morning drive home and i have a hair appointment i don't know when my hair appointment is um i need my mom to confirm when it is but it's sometime like saturday morning and then saturday evening at three i have my nail appointment with my nail guy back home which is honestly perfect because i originally had plans to see a nail tech here but when i decided to go home this weekend i was like you know what i'm just gonna cancel that appointment and go with someone who i know and love and will do good work and doesn't charge me out the yin yang like for what i was wanting 
the girl was automatically gonna charge me like $90 for it, and my nail guy would never charge that much for what I'm getting like I'm pretty sure I'm either getting pink to white ombre or like French tip and like if I would have gotten that from that girl she would have charged like $90 to $200 and with him I might pay 50 like with the soak off and everything I might pay 50 um not including the deposit so and I already know him and he's quick and I know I'm gonna be satisfied with the end result this isn't the exact makeup routine I've been doing now that I think about it like I haven't been doing inner corner highlight but I'm doing it today because I don't have my lashes done so I need something to make my eyes pop a little bit and I don't wear mascara on a day-to-day -day basis I don't know why it's just I don't have super long eyelashes anyway, so me putting on mascara versus me not having on mascara, there's literally like no difference, so. I just ordered some more eyelashes last night because, let me show y'all. I have some from Wink Click and I love my lashes from Wink Click. Absolutely love them. But the ones that I have are a little bit like too voluminous in my opinion for a day-to-day -day wear. So I have this one, which I think is posh. Is this posh? It's in the Minx box. I think this is posh that's actually in here. No, oh, I have two posh. Wait a minute, because these look the exact same. Oh, I did order two posh, right? I don't know. One of these is posh, one of these is mink. I have no idea. And like, they look really good. I like them. It's just, I want something a little bit more natural. So I ordered a few other pairs that are natural. And then these are like the most voluminous, which is in Dolly P. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna get around to wearing these. They're really cute, don't get me wrong. I just don't know when I wanna pull out the full volume. You feel me? Anywho, it is now 8.09. I'm about to put on lotion, deodorant, perfume, um, fill up my water bottle, and then we're going to head to campus. I'm gonna stop or on campus, get a Dunkin' drink or get a coffee from Dunkin', and then head to my first class. Okay, I'm gonna have to like book it to class, but let me just try this drink really quick. I got um, an ice, white mocha made with blonde espresso caramel drizzle cold foam oh yeah oh yeah if that's an indication of how today's gonna go today's gonna go we're gonna have a good day for sure uh, today i was like oh let me get my first sip of coffee and if it's good that means that the day's gonna be good no no because I was finished with my first class, we got done early, so I went across the lawn to eat, and then I was sitting there, and I noticed that like my keys weren't where I thought they were. Like I thought I put them in one pocket, which I did put it in one pocket, but there's two entries. So I put it on the side that I never use, and so I was freaking out, and I was like, please don't tell me I lost my keys. So I was like, I literally retraced my steps, I walked back to my car, see if I possibly locked it in there, and then after I saw that they weren't in my car, I just set my book back down and looked through it. And it was literally just on the other side of the pocket. Like there's, here, I'll show you all the book bag. So it looks like this. And the front pocket has a zipper on this side and a zipper on this side somewhere. And I put it on the other side, which I never do. And I did today and I was freaking out, but they were literally in my book bag the whole time. And then I was like, okay, cool. And then I'm sitting here, I'm actually like wrapping up a Zoom class right now. And I get an email saying that I have a parking citation. So I called them and I'm like, first first of all, the description of the car is not my car. Like it said that my car was blue. I have a black car, um, but it had my like tag on it. So I called them and I was like, it says that I was parked here. And so I told her, I was like, so my parking pass says fraternity lane. Like, is this not fraternity lane? She's like, no, that's Jefferson Avenue. Fraternity lane is on the other side. Like, if let me just show y'all a picture because at the beginning I took pictures of like the frat houses that I parked in front of so that I would remember like which frat house I was at or like which frat house I was parked in front of um, when I came back from class. So like this, for example, is one of the views of um, like where I parked like for what I thought was fraternity lane is literally all the frat houses and like the front with their letters and their names. I thought that was Fraternity Lane. No, the back of the house is Fraternity Lane. That's Jefferson Avenue. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, it really just ticked me off that I got a parking citation that's 
when I've been parking there since day one. That's the part that like really set me off is like I've been parking there as long as school has been in. There's been cars around me that have gotten parking citations. Like they have a little thing on it that literally says you can't park here, this, that, and the third. And then today was the day where I get a parking citation. I was livid, livid. Anyways, I came home because I need to change. You know when like you get something new like for the first time and it kind of smells funny yeah this kind of smells funny so i'm gonna change before i go to this orientation thing and i'm gonna ask if i can leave like i honestly want to leave like 30 minutes early but i don't know if i'll be allowed to so i'm gonna see if i can leave like 15 minutes early that'll give me enough time to walk back to my car come home and then get ready for my online tutoring but yeah today was it wasn't a bad day, it was not a bad day. I wouldn't say that that like made my day terrible, but that really just set me off. Like I have literally been parking there since day one of class. Cause I thought that like, it would make sense that fraternity lane was the one with all the houses, like the front of the houses. Yeah, apparently not. That that did not click. That didn't make sense. Why would I think that that's fraternity lane when all the frat house, the front of the frat house is right there. Like, why would I do that? Like, <sighs> So now I have to park on the other side, which is like further away from my classes. I was already pretty far from my classes. Now I'm even further away. Yeah, that's great. Anywho, I'm gonna change and then walk, or first of all, drive over to where this orientation is supposed to be. And we're gonna see how that goes. I don't think I'm gonna bring much. I think I'm literally just gonna bring like my bag, my phone, and then my water and that's it. But yeah, let's head that way now. Okay, so I just finished up my tutoring session. Um, I had the little mentoring training thing, which it like went pretty smooth. The only thing that I didn't like was that the building that we met in, she didn't have the shirts in there. So then we had to walk to another building and that building was like even further away from my car. But other than that, it went good. We got our shirts. Um, we went over things we can and can't do, you know, just, just the basics. Um, I'm going to go pick up dinner. I was going to door dash it, but you couldn't customize, like I'm getting wings, surprise. You couldn't customize um, like a split of the two and I want to split my wings. So I'm going to go in and see if I can split them that way. But whenever I tried to put it in my GPS, it literally said that this particular restaurant, the closest one was in New Orleans, but I could order on DoorDash and it would be at my house in like 40 minutes. So I was a little confused, but it is what it is. We're headed there now. I'm going to do a little food review when I get back home because I'm quite intrigued to see how these wings hit. I'm back home. And I don't know for a fact this food's gonna bust. I just know it is. Based off like how the inside of the restaurant looked, you just know if it's gonna be good or not. And they have 75 cent wings every Tuesday. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, most definitely. I'm gonna show y'all the food. Hold on, let me let me get a picture on my phone really quick. I don't know what flavor I got. Um, oh now I got lemon pepper, and I think the other one's like sweet chili, sweet Thai chili, something like that. I have no idea. I asked the girl which one she recommended and she said the sweet Thai, Thai chili. So I went with that. And then lemon pepper because you can never go wrong. Let me show y'all. Look at that. You just know this is going to be good. Get into the fries, the lemon pepper seasoning, the wings. Ooh. I'm going to do a little taste test. Okay. I didn't grab a napkin, but we're just going to dig into the first bite and then after that. It's also cutting my head off. I don't feel like adjusting it. Sorry, guys. I'm going to try a fry because you can never go wrong with those. Classic. Let's try this sweet Thai chili. I'm so excited for this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This right here, oh yeah. This bus, I might go back tomorrow. I'm not gonna let you, I might go back tomorrow. This is good. I'm gonna have my moment, watch Real Housewives of Atlanta, and then catch up on Real Housewives of New York. And I'll probably come back tomorrow. I said it was only gonna be like a today thing, but I don't wanna talk about, oh, I was studying for my test, and then leave on a cliffhanger as to how I did. Hopefully if I did good. If you don't see any clip after this, I did bad. So, there you go. Y'all, I'm back home from my first 
cow exam and I actually didn't do that bad. I was quite impressed with myself. I feel like this was the first test that I took where it's more so about knowing how to take the test than knowing what's on the test. So for example, like there were certain questions. So the way that the test works is like on your first attempt, if you get it right first attempt, you get 5% extra on top of like getting it right. On the second attempt, you just get normal full credit. And on the third attempt, you get um, like 70% credit. So I went through and did all the questions that I knew for a fact I could get right so that I could just get like the normal credit for it or get the extra credit for it. And then the ones that I didn't know off rip, I like was able to take my time more on those and hopefully try and get it right at least the second time so that I could still get like a good bit of credit. But I actually did pretty good, super proud of myself. So to treat myself, because yes, I'm one of those girls whenever I be good on something, I need to treat myself. Although I didn't spend that much money. This was literally only $20. But they had it at TJ Maxx and it's this, wait a minute, okay, here we go. It's this cropped, I think it's cropped. Maybe not, maybe it's like normal length. A puffer jacket, which I think is so cute. This is obviously very on trend. And like when it gets colder out, this with a long sleeve underneath is gonna be so cute. Or even like a sweatshirt underneath. This girl has a flannel. I personally wouldn't wear it like that, but yeah that was literally it i'm so excited now i'm just about to relax finish some other homework that i have due tomorrow and that's literally all the schoolwork i have to do this week literally because a majority of my homework that i have is in my math class and because it's test week we haven't gone over new material like i think we might have our first um like math assignment for this particular section due like monday if i'm not mistaken because we haven't gone over anything so like I know y'all hear that they're actually I don't know what they're doing to be honest um we're going over new material tomorrow I'm assuming I'm honestly hoping that we don't I hope that tomorrow we review what was on the test and then Thursday we start new material because if Thursday we start new material we're not going to finish all of it which means that the next homework assignment will be due to next week that's just what I think I don't know but we'll see how that goes anywho I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in my next one bye